getting thunder, we're coming alive This is a minute moment, this is our time We've been gone for so long and now we're back And now we're gonna show you all where we're sag Yeah, we're back at it, with some new magic We do it automatic, yeah We're back at it again, yeah It's so classic and it's fantastic hey, We're back at it again so far um not scraping <laughs> i'm with missouri street church of christ missouri street how's it going good we've learned how to uh work together as a team i'm here 
in our own hive. Uh, there was a big yellow couch, and inside the yellow couch, there was like a B-movie toy from like McDonald's or something. No way. So we were meant to be here today. <laughs> uh, how's the poncho working out Poncho? Uh, you know, I was going to wear this anyway. I didn't even see the forecast. I was like, I just want to wear the poncho. So it worked out. That was raining. Yeah, who knew? Got a real good feeling. Hey, tell me about your experience at work camp. How's it going? Work camp has been amazing so far. Been over here working and painting. Yeah, impossible. That's it. How do you like work camp? I love it. Let's go. Yeah, Luke got paint all over his hands and then he grabbed my face. Oh, Ma, I'm so sorry. That's just wrong. People shouldn't it do that. It is wrong, especially when we're about to take a picture. <laughs> you know, it sounds like Luke's been painting a lot of people. I know. He's painting little kids, he's painting girls. I must have, I must have missed something. He hasn't, he hasn't attacked me yet. Well, he don't want to mess with you. So it's like a mud facial. Fair. There. <laughs> That's all me. <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> See, I think what happened is no. y'all brought in a professional no. painter. What? You brought in this guy, a professional painter. What? The famous David Cohn has showed up at this site. No, that was me. You can't be bringing in professionals now. <laughs> Why not? You're a professional, but I mean, seriously. My nice. team's doing very good. We worked through the rain yesterday. Best team in the nation. Team number one, team number three. You cut that out, right? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what happened here at this house. Well, we're painting. It's going really well. It's not raining. And then yeah. I'm like, wait, what color should we put? What color does, did the trim say? And I look at it and it says requisite gray. And I said, uh-oh. You started just this one section. Did you read the form about what colors are everything's supposed to be? Eventually. Jim Hinkle's legacy lives on. <laughs> Don't tell Jim. <laughs> Uh, like yeah, we, this is like bagel it. colored, and what's this called? Wool skin. Wool skin. What kind of skin is it? Wool. You know, like a sheep. Wool? Bye. So this is like wool skin bye color. Bye. <laughs> it's a wool. Hey, Hannah, how many Hannahs are on your team? Three Hannahs, one team. <laughs> I'm good. How you doing? How is life? Life's been treating me well, man. What about work camp? Work camp, That's I love it camp. every year. It's so fun. This is my second year, so I love it two years. But, <laughs> every yeah. year, my second year. But you know, I've liked it all the other years I hadn't done it, so you know. Barry, how's your team over there? You and Anderson. This dude came up from Brazil to work here. Yeah, but just to do work camp. He heard how great work camp was. He came all the way from Brazil just to do it. Whoa. You can tell he's a rookie. I mean, look at me. And look at him. Or he's a professional and you're just kind well, of Well, maybe that's still. it. Hey, so how's Westminster going to feel about you messing up your PE shirt? Well, this is actually my brother, so... Oh, who cares then? Right. Hey, you know any good jokes? Yeah, Avery's around back. Go talk to her. I absolutely do not have any jokes. Me neither. I can't just make them up. I have you to be in the... can't make them up. has to come up This is a, a serious time. I'm not here to joke around. When the sermon goes long. What do you call a pig with no eye? It's PG. <laughs> <laughs> when Skidmore shows his 500 slide. Why is a skeleton so calm? <laughs> I don't know. Because nothing gets under their skin. Kessler, after watching the B movie, the hundredth time. Thanks for saying it while I'm saying it. You want to say it? Okay, go ahead. No. Mr. Know-it-all. <laughs> How much does a chimney cost? I don't know. Nothing. It's on the house. <laughs> there earlier there was a girl wearing yellow painting the trim around the door and I was like you need to make sure you don't get to that on the white is she doing okay is she still there on the front door uh, painting the trim around the front door um they started painting yeah they are painting the trim on the door is she keeping my girls. is she keeping the paint off the white um I don't it's one of my girls. She, it looks like she's doing good. 
Well, the last time we were by, they had some kids up on the roof I was really worried about. I was like, those kids need to be tied off. Did they tie themselves off? And I told them to get rid of all that no. junk in the front. Did they get rid of it yet? Uh, you mean on the sidewalk? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on the sidewalk. Uh, no, it hasn't been picked up yet by the city. No. They brought all the, they brought all this to the front from the back porch because it was all yeah. on the back porch. There was a lot of problems. They had a trailer that's parked county corner out of the street. It was a mess. <laughs> I was like, y'all need to fix this. They haven't done anything, have they? Um, I can't really say anything. Logan was just spray painting the paint everywhere, and I said, you, what you need to do is get a piece of cardboard and put it behind it and do it. And I don't, he probably He's didn't do that, that either, did he? Oh, he is. Yeah, he's well, hallelujah! Right Finally, somebody's listening. And I just—I yeah. told him to trim the house next door, the bushes around the house next door, the house to the left of it. I said, y'all need to go. Oh, you're right in front of me. What are you doing? <laughs> I said, don't you let the neighbor. I said, don't let. I don't need this. I said, don't let the neighbor trim her own bushes. Y'all get over there and trim those bushes. <laughs> And biscuit circus tent it's time to paint I come back every year because service is just something that I'm passionate about and I like doing I like helping people you met your homeowner at your house? yes yes miss Tommy is amazing amazingly sweet just so grateful uh, she had uh, she had paid some folks to paint this and they just bailed on her. She had paid them and they never came back. And so really excited to be able to just make it right for her, uh, paint, get a, get a good coat of paint on here, and make the house look, look great and be protected. Tell me about your team. They are the sweetest bunch of kids and the hardest workers. They're amazing. I'm so proud of all of them. One of the best teams you've ever had. Absolutely, 100%. Can you tell us about this house that you're painting? Right down that street is my grandmother's house. Back in the 1900s, she and my grandfather bought that house and then they bought all the lots between that house and this house for their children. And the house that we're painting, they built this house for my uncle and his family and he raised his family here. So it's just a cool, neat um, memory for me. Super excited about the team. Uh, I've worked with teams in the past with different things. And one thing I've really enjoyed about our team is that these kids um, are acting like adults and they are working. My team is awesome. I haven't heard one complaint. They do exactly what I ask of them politely to do. Right. And they want to take care and do a great job. So. Okay, so you're Chris from Parksville. Parksville, Trenton Crossing, Church of Christ. So how do you like work camp so far? I love it. These neighbors that we're meeting are fantastic. The owner here is sweet. She's buying lunch for us tomorrow. In fact, she's already ordered it and came over and let us know. And the neighbor is making a cake. So it what? is much better than getting treated by working for someone else. Uh, here at work camp, we've been able to paint literally literally hundreds of houses at work camp. And most of the houses we painted have been right here in Orange Mounds. There's a lot of great things about Orange Mound. You got Pop's Hot Tamales, you got Miss Joyce Echo's famous pound cake, the Orange Mound Grill, a lot of great businesses. But the best thing about Orange Mound is the people. And I think that's the thing we've loved the most about uh, being able to meet so many homeowners here in Orange Mound. You know, we came here, we tried to bless them by painting their house. But really, we're the ones who've been blessed. We've been blessed by relationships and friendships with some of the best people in Memphis. So we're thankful for Orange Mound. We love Orange Mound. My name is Tommy, and uh, I was introduced to 
this group by my goddaughter. What, how, what kind of job are they doing? An excellent job. I've given them thumbs up when they've get, gotten ready to leave. I've, I've, I've tried to offer them things. They won't take a thing. When I say they've been doing excellent work, they have been doing amazing work. They get out there, they work as a team. They just, they're energetic and they're just Christian young people that are God sent. And I, I can't, I'm just so thankful and so blessed to have them. And I appreciate the team, they're nice young people, great, all of them. I give, I give 110% to all one of them, because they show respect. I've never seen a group that respect in my life. This on is my own now, this is not condoned. But y'all got some nice children. I appreciate every one of them. Uh, when they come in the morning, they pray with us. When they get ready to leave, they uh, offer prayer with us. And it's, it's, a one, it's wonderful. I, I think it's wonderful because, you know, this day and age to have young children doing things, it's beautiful. I love them. And it's a wonderful job. And we do thank you for what you're doing for us. And, just love it. Hey, right. We're all just trying to spread Jesus, you know? Oh, yes. yes. Just loving the Lord. And yes, yes. And a lot of people don't believe in <laughs> but he's a wonderful and awesome guy. Yes. He really is. Everyone you meet was little. Everyone you meet has grown. Everyone you meet is wondering how to get. like where you're going is a group of people that have realized there's a community that they live in in which something is not the way it is supposed to be and they say that's not going to stand as long as we're around I'm not okay with that and so what do you do you come together from all of these different places and you link arms and you measure and you say this is what's got to be done let's do this because we're serving royalty like God has created all creation God has created humans to be together, do things together. We can do so much, we can accomplish so much when we as churches or people aren't just competing and fighting, but when we are functioning with the same mission and purpose in mind. We have a chance to offer a radical community to everyone around us to give them identity and purpose and a better story to live into. This is part of what you get to do this week. You pick up a paintbrush, you pick up a scraper and you just get to work and there's nothing that you get out of this. There's no payment. There's, there's no memory even. They, they may not even know your name and that's okay. Because the call of Jesus isn't just to step out, but it's to step down. And sometimes stepping down means where you get on your knees and you serve somebody. Like all of us, this past week, we've been, you guys have been working, you guys have been working hard and serving, and that is one way of showing love. What I hope is that we don't leave this week thinking that that's enough. Because if we claim to believe in God, we, we don't just kind of say we love people. We are supposed to be love. And so if there's two things that you guys, that I hope you guys do, not just today, but for the rest of your lives after today, I hope that you guys do these two things. I hope that you guys believe and be love. Be love. Believe, believe and be love. Memphis is his city, and that's why we love serving God by serving people. Jesus said he didn't come to be served, but to serve so that's why we serve in His name.